We were a sight to be seen. Seeing us was seeing us. Driving around in Auntie and then Godiva, our Ford cars. Looking at paintings and ruins. Eating delicious food. Talking to everyone. Making the best of where we were, wherever we were. We lived living emphatically and uncompromisingly as ourselves. The world could not do anything except accept us as we were or reject us as we were, and we were accepted as we were in America. But then I was somebody. I was 56, 50 and 6, 6 and 50, lampooned, yet rarely published. All that changed with a rather casual experiment on my part. One of 1933's bestsellers, the autobiography of Alice B. Toklas, written by Gertrude Stein. Writing plays, short stories, long novels, memoirs, operas, poetry, long before coming to America again. But not until then was I somebody when communicating If Picasso is applauded for painting pictures which do not represent anything he has hitherto seen, if Schoenberg can pen a score that sounds entirely new, even to ears accustomed to listening to modern music, why should an employer of English words be required to form sentences which are familiar in meaning, shape, and sound to any casual reader? Miss Stein herself implies somewhere that where there is communication, identification, there can be no question of creation. Where there is communication, there can be no question of creation.